Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace your old hard drive in your MacBook Pro. Before you can start, make sure your machine has been turned off for at least half an hour. The first step is to unscrew the back using a Phillips double zero screwdriver. Once you remove the back, you'll see next to the battery, the old 5400 RPM hard drive. Make sure to unplug the battery connector with a plastic tool. I'll be using a plastic guitar pick. By disconnecting the battery, you reduce the risk of being shocked by the residual charge from the battery. Now it's safe to unscrew the hard drive bracket that's keeping the hard drive in place. To unscrew the hard drive bracket, you'll need to use the same Phillips screwdriver. Using the plastic pull tab, you can gently lift the hard drive to reach into the hard drive connector. This is connected very firmly, and be sure to be careful when you unplug it. As you can see, I wasn't prepared for the hard drive to be connected that firmly, so be careful when you do this. The new hard drive I'll be installing is a Samsung 860 EVO. Other SSDs I recommend are Crucial and WD Blue. There are four torque screws in the old hard drive that you'll need to transfer to the new SSD. For this, you'll need to use a Torx T6 screwdriver. There are two screws on each side, so make sure to remove all four screws. It's a good idea to reuse a plastic pull tab and stick it onto the new SSD. This will make it easier to remove the SSD if you choose to upgrade in the future. As you see in this clip, I'm transferring the torque screws into the new SSD. Once that's been all screwed in place, you can then connect the hard drive cable to the SSD. Then you can insert the SSD, aligning the torque screws into the posts. To keep the hard drive secure, re-screw the hard drive bracket into the machine. And finally, you can reattach the battery connector and start to re-screw the back. Just to point out, I won't be cleaning my old hard drive data to this new SSD. Instead, I'll have a fresh install of macOS 10. However, if you do decide to clean your hard drive, I recommend you use Time Machine that Apple has built in your computer, as it is the most fastest and easiest way. After rebooting the machine with a fresh install of macOS 10, when you go into system information, you'll see that the SSD doesn't have trim support enabled. To enable this, you'll need to go into terminal and enter sudo trimforce enable. Hit enter and it'll ask you to type in your password. Then it will ask if you wish to proceed and you press Y for yes, hit enter. Now it's asking, is it okay? Hit Y again and press enter. Now trim support is being enabled and your computer will start to reboot itself. So coming back, you'll see now that your SSD has trim support enabled. So essentially, your computer can communicate with the SSD and help the SSD wipe out data that's no longer in use. Trim will improve the lifespan of your SSD and in the process, improve long-term performance. So that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.